the company decided to send these uh, our consultants to continue their degree is because of the way the lectures are organized. So when I founded this institution, uh, Little Ones at the World Preschools, my intention was to make sure that this early education of the young children must come into the situation of knowledge and experience. So the company is already about 15 years. We decided there must be a continuation of what I had done. So because of that, we sat down and Uni Razak came into the views. We were invited to be the collaborator. And when we went there, we were introduced with this ECCE bachelor program especially. For the first time, for the first batch, we are sending five of them there. It really challenges my staff to perform, to work hard, and I found them putting themselves at a higher level now, in the sense that they will, they will get used to the journals, which they haven't before this. They have to create uh, teaching aids, the up-to-date teaching aids, the correct methods and all that. They have to produce video presentations of historical places, you know, a few topics being given and I found that very challenging for them because they have to speak in English. And I found that they did very well as well. They enjoy it. The fact is that they don't grumble, but they enjoy and look forward towards it. On top of that, uh, the company decided to send these, uh, our consultants to continue their degree. It's because of the way the lectures are organized they don't have to leave their jobs because it's only once a month, compulsory. And then uh, these so-called students of Uni Raza, my staff, when they come back, they feel that it's not something which is strange. They learn something that they can see in their daily work. And the folios that they do reflects what they have in their working place. Very obviously, the confidence level increased. I can see them be more positive of what they're doing and more independent in the sense that if I'm not around, they can do some, some work, they can design projects for the teachers, they can even help with the lesson plans and, and this is very important because they are the ones who are the bridge from the HQ to the centres. So this is something very positive that I feel as uh, anyone who has a company involving with ECCE, I should think you can give your staff this chance because when they come back, in the end of the day, they are helping you. They are helping your company because they help to lessen the burden of those who are in that, the HQ level. I am telling this to others up there who are now maybe involved directly with the early childhood education, having their own uh, preschools or play schools. Bear in mind, the world is changing. IR 4.0 is approaching whereby children are no more going to use lots of paper and pencils. They are going to use lots of robots. They are going to be involved more in STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. So if you do not even know about this, then you have to seek them. You have to search for the knowledge. And searching alone with the approval from an institution might not really be appreciated. But if you join an institution that offers this at your own convenience and most important, affordable cost, convenient time, 
and the projects given demand them to apply. So this is the way uh, what I found in the program at Uni Raza whereby they learn, they come back, they have to think of what they learn already in projects form. So we call project-based learning. So I'm very happy for that and I, as one who already took up this path, I wish there would be more of my friends out there who are having preschools, who are also like me, passionate in this field. Come, go, seek knowledge and you'll see there will be lots of differences at your preschools, inshallah.